Okay then, so this is a really quick video of my first impressions of running in the Hoka Zanal. I've actually done a few trail runs in these shoes now, um, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on them so far. They're a very new shoe, so I wanted to get this out quickly. All right, enjoy. Okay, there's a stream coming up, so I'm going to do a really quick water test in the Hoka Zanal. So you guys know how well they drain. Okay, that's nice. It's super hot out today, so I don't mind doing that test. I'll let you know how to get on. Okay, so I've just done a little bit more testing on the Hoka Zinnar shoes. It's these shoes here. So, after my water test, they drained really well. Um, so that's positive. But after running a few more miles in them, they are definitely not the most technical trail running shoe. The grip is, is good, but it's not great. There's not much in the midfoot area, around about here. Good on the forefoot, forefoot and the rear of the shoe, but the lugs aren't particularly deep, so you do have to watch out on, you know, deep mud and stuff like that, and loose scree, because the lugs aren't that deep. And they're not particularly a long distance shoe either, so if you're looking for an ultra shoe, these probably aren't for you, these are probably for those who want to run really fast, maybe 10k races or training for 10k's, but not on the really technical terrain because there seems to be quite a low stack and a low drop on these shoes and you will feel the terrain beneath your feet which of course that's good because you feel, you're feeling the trail um, that's pretty good um, if you want to do some mild technical trails but for long distance running you're going to feel it on your feet after a while so definitely stick to short distance fast running in the Hoka Zinal.